We outside. Well, here we are kicking off the biggest week on the pro wrestling calendar. Welcome to Philly Mania presented by All Caribbean Wrestling. My name is Gerard Bonner. I'm joined by my broadcast partner, Aloysius Skipper Jenkins the third, And we're honored to present to you Philly Mania. Kicking things off, it's the Digital Media Championship. You've already seen the introduction of uh, one James Ellsworth. Living television legend. And so entering the ring, it is the digital media champion from Fighting Evolution Wrestling. He is the Shogun of Opalaka, Bruce Cross. He's here in his first title defense here after winning that championship just a couple of weeks ago at Rising Power. Look, I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see what Bruce Cross is gonna do against a living legend. Absolutely. Listen, this man, James Ellsworth, beat AJ Styles clean as a whistle in the middle of the ring. Well, we have to redefine how clean a whistle actually is in that case. But oh, uh, Ellsworth oh. better be careful because he's dealing with the Shogun here, Bruce Cross. And that was an illegal kick. It was illegal. From, from Cross or from Ellsworth? From Cross, Ellsworth never broke a rule in his life. Ah, uh, well, so be it. And this is gonna be a huge test here for Cross, and you mentioned how excited you are seeing what Cross is gonna do in this scenario. This digital media championship is the first championship in his career, which is really exciting to see. Now he won this championship by winning the golden ticket in the gold for the gold, or go for the gold, uh, and he cashed it in Whoa. back at Rising Power against Nasir Santana and won that uh, title. Now it's interesting because we're going to see the go for the gold golden ticket match later on this evening uh, involving the women's division. So this should be inter interesting for sure. Most definitely. Look at that. Did you see the ring awareness of James Ellsworth? While you were yapping about gold and tickets and whatnot, James Ellsworth is putting in work. You hear me? Any man with two fists has a fighting chance. He does. Unfortunately, Bruce Cross is not one of them. Uh, well, this is interesting. Ellsworth is going to have to put in some work to become the champion tonight. And you've got to oh. wonder here, Ellsworth, who of course has been on that national stage, he's been many, many places. The question is now, can he become the Ooh. digital media champion here? There goes those illegal kicks again from Bruce Cross. They're not illegal. They are above the belt. And there, oh. of course, all of these kicks, of course, he has done quite a bit with a martial arts degree and a black belt, and he's a striker. He's done all these kinds of things, including winning a tournament in England. And, well, that's water well used, or I don't know. Watch out, James. <laughs> oh! James Ellsworth, who uh, many people know, obviously, from his time in WWE. He's become a legend. Again, like it or lump it, wins over AJ Styles is uh, something that very few people can say, let alone three times. Three times consecutively. Oh, wow. Veteran instincts by the television legend that is James Ellsworth. And it would be intriguing to see if the television legend can add digital media champion to his resume, but a, a one count there as the champion kicks out. Like it or not, Bruce Cross, he, he's squirrely. He has, he has a lot of endurance, you know, with all that karate training and black belt training. But again, he certainly does in a count of two. And uh, for Ellsworth, he's getting ever so close to becoming champion. Now, 
here's the thing. He, he cannot win that title by count out or disqualification. You have regulation wrestling rules applying here in this scenario. So he's going to have to find a way to overcome the larger and the taller champion. That's not a problem. That's not a problem for James Ellsworth. Okay, what do you think Ellsworth has to do here? He has to do what he does every single every single night, and that's just out wrestling. Look at this. Oh! Now, I'll give it to you. That was a fantastic move from Ellsworth, literally chopping down the much taller champion. Not only that, hold on. Count of two. Not only that, it's smart. It's taking away his power. He took away those kicks, those illegal kicks. Oh, those kicks are illegal, but he was smart in hooking both of those legs because, again, that's where the bulk of the power comes for the Shogun of Opalaka. Ooh. And there, he got him with a jawbreaker there. Cross, and now Cross goes to those kicks, those legal kicks that you absolutely love, and he is literally kicking Ellsworth down to size. Break it up, ref. And now Bruce Cross looking to really uh, kind of get his footing there, catch his breath, and hopefully change things around. He was going for oh. that belly-to-belly -belly suplex that he loves to use, but Ellsworth had that scouted super kick there to the knee. And oh. a second super kick. That was flush in the face. Could this be over? He just kicked his nose off of his face. And he could kick the title away. Count of two. So close there. Could have kicked that title away. He was right there at it. He certainly was. Ellsworth was incredibly close. And Ellsworth going one more time. Could the third time be the charm? He's calling for the no chin music. And no, it gets blocked. And here comes, oh, here it is, Ooh. that belly to belly suplex. That won him the championship, and he got the three count. Bruce Cross, who's celebrating day 20 as the FDW Digital Media Champion, will live to fight another day on the day 21 and on and on and on like Erica Badu. And I promise you, it's going to be a significant reign here for Bruce Cross, the Shogun of Opalaka. I, I agree. I think this was a great match for Mr. Cross, and I'm excited to see what he's going to do in ACW. Absolutely a huge win over the legend that is James Ellsworth. More to come from Philly Mania.